Jeez, guys. It would help if I turned my microphone on, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, this is the Asahi Shimbun, which is a Japan newspaper. And, yes, this is about three days old. It came out February 10th. But still relevant, obviously. Radiation level in Fukushima number 2 reactor measured higher. Oh, really? <laughs> um, let's take a look at this. See what's going on down there. A pressure washer equipped robot clears the path inside the containment vessel of Fukushima's number one nuclear power plant's number two reactor on February 9th. The black lumps are believed to be melted fuel. God, that's horrible. Ugh, 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 ugh. Um, the road to decommissioning Fukushima number one nuclear power plant's number two reactor could be rockier than expected, no doubt. As radiation levels on February 9th were even deadlier than those recorded in late January. Really? That's a surprise. TEPCO announced that day that radiation levels inside the reactor were estimated at up to 650 sieverts per hour, much higher than the record 530 sieverts per hour marked by the previous survey. So, TEPCO is actually admitting to the 650 sieverts per hour. So, you know what? It's definitely going to be a lot higher than that number. Know that for sure. A camera made its way inside the reactor's containment vessel for the first time on January 30th and spotted fuel rods that had melted into black lumps in the nuclear accident in the aftermath of the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami disaster. The plant operator made the last estimate from the amount of camera noise experienced by the robot that ventured into the lion's den that morning. Equipped with a pressure washer, the machine was deployed to pave the way for the Sasori Scorpion robot that is set to survey the reactor's interior in greater detail. The robot's task was to hose down melted fuel and other substances, I like that other substances, hmm. as it traveled along a rail measuring 7 meters long and 0.6 meter wide, connecting the outer wall of the containment vessel with the reactor's core. It started operating from a point located 2 meters from the exit of the tunnel bored into the side of the vessel. But about 2 hours into its journey, in which it had progressed about a meter, oh, that's not very far, the camera footage started getting dark, Tepco said. The amount of radiation emitted by the melted fuel may have taken a toll on the camera's well-being, you think? You think? As the robot could be left stranded inside the vessel, if the camera broke, I feel sorry for the robot. <laughs> it's pretty bad when you have sympathy for a robot. Anyways. <laughs> I do. I feel sorry for the robot. <laughs> anyway, just... As the robot could be left stranded inside the vessel, if the camera broke down completely, the utility called off the op operation seven hours earlier than scheduled and retrieved the device. TEPCO analyzed the footage and concluded that the doses amounted to be about 650 sieverts per hour. See? About. Always gotta look at those words. About which is deadly enough to kill a human in less than one minute. As the robot's camera was designed to withstand a cumulative dosage of 1,000 sieverts per hour, the utility, com the utility commented that it's consistent with how the camera started to break down after two hours. The plant operator plans to deploy the Sasori Surveyor robot before the end of February. We will be assessing the amount of deposits and debris to decide how far Sasori can advance, a TEPCO official said. 